welcome to another Illuminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, in our topic today is how to edit multiple people in a single photo. So how to edit multiple people in a single photo using the portrait tools. Now, um, Luminar's AI portrait tools are so smart, it, <clears throat> it's human aware, it, it can detect people in a portrait or in a photo, and then not just a single person, but multiple people, and you're able to edit those, those people using the tools. So let's get started. So here I am with the traditional uh, family portrait that I took of good friends of mine, the De Leon's. Now let's make sure we have it all set. All right, so here's the original image. <coughs> Excuse me. All I'm going to do is come over to Mood Enhancer from the Tools palette, and I want to add just a quick look to the scene. Oh, excuse me. Let me pull that back up. While that's pulling back up, hello, people. British Columbia. Oh, this is awesome. We're glad to have you with us. And while I'm doing this, let me change the mouse pointer. There we go. So the mouse pointer, I was asked if we could change the mouse pointer to where you're able to see it. So we, we added this little glow to the, to the mouse pointer. Let me know if that makes a difference for you. Good. All right. So here we are. Let me go back to where we were. And I'm going to add from the looks cast. So I came up here to the looks button. And from the essentials category, I want to add the mood enhancer. Good. And just within one little click, look at this. Before and after, and I'm off to a great start. Now what I want to do is edit each of these faces. So I'm going to come down to the portrait tools. Then from the portrait tools, I'll select AI portrait enhancer. Now watch this. What I like to do <clears throat> to make sure that Luminar is spotting the faces, because I mean, this, look at the megapixels that we're deal, dealing with. Not, not just the megapixels, the size of the image. And we have three small faces in the image. When I use the face light slider, yep, sure enough, it tells me it's recognizing there's faces and there's humans in this photo. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. I do this every time. Here we go. There we go. All right, so I have it in. Let it redraw or refresh. There it is. Beautiful. Now, there's a few, the three faces I want to deal with. So we already said with the face light, it did recognize it. I want to just increase the light just a little bit. The eye enhancer, of course. Let's bring out the eyes. And let's make the eyes just a little bit bigger. Not to the point where it's spooky looking. I can improve the eyebrows, lips. Good. All right, so what I just did <clears throat> was instead of individually fixing each image, I'm able to do it with one, with, with one tool. I'm able to go in, all three faces are fixed, and let's go to the enhancer, the skin enhancer. Now, here's the deal. In this case here, because they're children, because they're children, the skin softening and the effect worked out great. <clears throat> if I had a husband and wife in the scene, I could easily mask out one or the other. So I don't have to put it, I'll put it globally on all three of them. But if I only want the effect on one of the three, that's where we can apply our mask, all right? So I have this set, I like how it's looking. Let me come back up here to the AI Enhancer and let me just bring it out a little bit more. Good, so here's before, here's after, and each of the faces were nice we're taking care of with the portrait tool. 
All right? One last thing just to finish this off. Get back to it. I'm going to finish it off with a vignette. And there we go. One last spot. What I like to do is I want this area right here to be selected. So I'll grab the group subject, select it, and feather it just a little bit. There we go. So before, after good, it ties it in, and we're set. All right, so let's do this. Now, what if one, okay, the face is lighter than the other. All right, so what we just we just got done doing here was this. So let's say, um, she brought a good point. What if one of the faces were lighter than the other? All right, so I'm going to come up to my layers palette, or to layers tool, and I want to create a new adjustment layer. Now that I have a new adjustment layer, <clears throat> let's... Let's look at these three faces here. All right, let it refresh. Good. All right, so let's say um, I want to bring her face in a little bit more. So I'm going to come to the Pro Tools. From the Pro Tools, Advanced Contrast. Let's adjust the light. Good, right here. Midtones. There we go. And the shadows. All right about there. All right, great. All right, so I have all that set. Now, the question again was what happens if, let's say, one face is lighter than the other? Um, from here, in his case, actually, I like his complexion. Let's make these two just a little bit darker. All right, so I did the advanced contrast control and I like that a lot. So let's come back up one more time and I, I do want to create a new adjustment layer one more time. So there's my new adjustment layer and I want to come down to dodge and burn. All right, now I could have done this individually but I just want to show you on a global scale. I'm going to start painting and let's say darken just a little bit. Oh, that's a little too much. Let me bring it back. I don't know that. Good, right about here. All right. So now that I have that set, um, let's come over to this one, and I'm gonna bring the opacity down just a little bit. There we go. Good, I brought it in here. All right, done. All right, so that's one way. So that's one way to where if these two faces were here, were, were too much brighter than the third one, that's what I can do. All right, I'm going to trash this right here because I want to show you a different version or a different way. So back to the layers. And let's uh, delete this one. There we go. All right, so... Back to what you were saying, what, so I, I did this adjustment here. I can always come down to the edit mask on the adjustment layer, brush, and I want to erase, let's say, the effect here and here, but leave it on him. So that's another way I can do it, to where I put the adjustment onto this layer right up here, and made my changes, and then I can click done. Now, since I did that, so since I did that, it's on the complete layer. So it's on the layer. Anything I add from this point on, so if I were to come back to the portrait tools, and let's just say for him, um, I wanted to increase the skin again. There we go. The effect is gonna be applied just to him here and not to these two here because of what we just did, right? because of how we did the adjustment. So before and after, all right? So I hope that answered the question on that end. There are so many ways that you could apply the portrait tools 
to your images. One way, again, is apply it globally to all three, get to where you want it, and then add a new adjustment layer. And if one of the three you didn't like, like, like we just said, was one was too bright, <clears throat> one was too dark, on that adjustment layer, we fix it, and we're good to go. All right? Great. Hey, guys, I want to remind you, and let me pull up here, that don't forget with Skylum, go to Skylum forward slash academy. Skylum forward slash um, academy. And from here, if you need more information on tutorials, podcasts, or classes, you can find all the information here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here we go. We go to Skylum forward slash academy. So with Skylum Photos Class, Photos Class Academy, we could browse through tutorials, podcasts, and of course, we can go through classes here. And if we ever have questions about any of the tools that we have, here we are with the user help guide, type in the information here, and we'll find the information on that particular tool or feature within Luminar. And last but not least, we showed you before, um, Fuji was nice enough to, to sponsor a couple ebooks. One was on the six speed lights, and the other one was on portraits. So when you have a chance, make sure you download those. Download those. And again, thank you so much, Fuji, for helping um, with our podcast, with our coffee breaks, and becoming our partner. All right. Well, let me check. To see some of the information. Good. I would like to see lighter work. Okay, it worked. Good. So you can work with the one adjustment layer and you can work it from there. All right? Guys, hey, if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. It gives us a good um, indication on how we're doing. And don't forget to tune in uh, each, each day, Monday through Friday, 5 o'clock. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. Um, here in Florida, we have the SpaceX launch going off on Saturday. <coughs> Excuse me, which is tomorrow. So I'm going to see. I'm going to try to take the Fuji camera out. Um, I only have a 200 millimeter lens. And I think because it's micro four thirds, it may be equivalent. Actually, I take that back. The lens I have is equivalent to a 200 millimeter lens. So I really don't have the distance to get a really tight up shot with the um, the rockets that are being launched. But there's a couple places here that we could photograph from that you'll get the beautiful um, the exhaust from the rocket going over. We'll see, but traffic is usually a bear. But I'll do my best to try to grab some shots to share with you on Monday. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on Monday.